5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The LRD Show. And thank you for tuning in to the LRD show where we have topics from business to life and everything in between. I am your host, Lois Raleigh Durham. This week's guest is Carmen Booker. Carmen is a native of Atlanta, Georgia. She has attended school there and later attended Howard University where she received a bachelor's degree of arts and a doctorate degree. Carmen has published six books, which include Life Achievement Kit. Lessons in Spiritual Achievement, Biblical Entrepreneurship, The ABCs of Ministry, Seeking the Face of God, Who Am I? You Are God's Masterpiece, and she has also written The ABCs of Successful Living, and has designed spiritual poetic expressions and bookmarks. She is also a freelance writer for several Christian magazines. Carmen is a business attorney and the Chief Consultant for Compute Perfect Professional Services. Compute Perfect is a business consulting firm that specializes in tax exemption applications, corporate limited liability company, and nonprofit entity formation, copyright registration, trademark search and registration, patent registration, grant research and writing services, as well as real estate planning services. Carmen has 17 years of experience writing contracts, writing contracts and business plans, forming business entities, as well as 20 years of editing experience. She offers professional business services that are designed to meet your vision and specialized goals at reasonable cost, thereby moving you on the road to greater business success. At this time, I would like to welcome to the show Carmen Booker. Carmen, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm just relaxing and enjoying the nice weather. <laughs> That's nice. Um, so where are you located at right now? You're still in Georgia or are you elsewhere? No, I'm I'm located in Hyattsville, Maryland, right near Washington, D.C., the capital. Oh, wow. So how is it like out there? Because see, I'm in Memphis, Tennessee, and it's like hot. It's hot here, too. I wish it would cool down a bit to the 70s, but it's not doing it yet. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's go on with our interview. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, as you mentioned, I have a business consulting firm called CompuPerfect Professional Services, and mm-hmm. we've been in existence for 17 years. And what we do is we establish for-profit entities such as corporations and limited liability companies. We also write and review contracts such as partnership agreements, uh, buy-sell agreements, service agreements, lease agreements, and we do trademark searches and registrations and patent registrations. And we also establish nonprofit organizations to secure their 501c3 tax and status, and we also offer grant research and writing services. Right. So how long have you been in business for? Uh, 17 years. Wow. Yeah. That's a mm-hmm. long, long time. I'm I'm in a little over a year in my business, so it's oh, okay. great that you're still in business for 17 years. Yeah. And um, you already mentioned, because uh, I asked uh, where you're from, so I'm assuming that your business is located in Maryland as well? Yes, it is. I work out of my home, but I have clients in different states, such as Tennessee and Florida, New York, California, Louisiana. Right. So I'm not, I'm not limited uh, geographically in, in terms of the services that I can provide people. I know one of the questions was about you writing your books. So you're an author. Why don't you tell us about um, some of your books and how what got you started into writing? Well, I've written a lot of books. Uh started writing in 1982 when I was a sophomore in college. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have a book about biblical entrepreneurship because uh, in my comes and going as a business attorney and meeting people. A lot of people have mm-hmm. dreams and visions, but they really don't know what to do or how to implement them. 
So right. I I was led to write this book, Biblical Entrepreneurship, to help people tell them how to start and operate their business from a biblical perspective. So I talk about how to obtain a vision for your business, how to overcome obstacles, because there are a lot of obstacles. There are two major obstacles that people encounter, which is the fear of failure and the fear of rejection. So I talk about how to mm-hmm. overcome that by having faith in the Word of God. And I also mm-hmm. discuss the different types of business entities, such as um, social partnership, partnership, limited liability company, and corporation. And we mm-hmm. also talk about uh, how to develop a business plan, which is really an action plan, and how to promote your business and the tax tips for having a home-based business. You know, because a lot of people don't realize that when you have a home-based business, you can take advantage of the home office deduction and write right. out you know, percentage of your house, if you're using, for example, 50% of your house for your business exclusively and regularly, you can write off 50% of your real estate taxes, homeowners insurance, things of that nature. So I go into great detail about that in the book as well. Wow. What motivated you to write Biblical Entrepreneurship? Well, I, as I mentioned previously, a lot of people have a lot of dreams and visions, but they really don't know how to implement them. So I wrote the book to help them to do that. Let's go back to your business. I know um, that one of the services is copywriting. Can you, um, like, say if I were to come to you and I want to copyright my website or something like that, how would I go about doing that? What you have to do is, is complete the co- respective copyright application form. They have different forms for different things. Literary works mm-hmm. is, uh, I can't remember, but they have, you can, you can go on copyright, copyright. Copyright.gov and click mm-hmm. on copyright application, and then you find the one that meets your meets your requirements. If you have a sign recording, it would be SR PR for uh, publishing things of that nature. Yeah, right. and then you can do it online. Complete the application online, and the fee is only thirty five dollars online. Okay. If you do a paper paper transaction, is sixty five dollars. If you do it, you know, hard copy and submit it to the copyright office via regular mail. Going back to your biblical entrepreneurship, what are the benefits of that? Because I help people with them how to obtain a vision. Because if you don't have a vision for your business, then you, you will certainly fail. Uh, everything centers around a, a business vision. You know, I believe the word of God says that my people perish for a lack of vision. So mm-hmm. vision is very important. And once you get the vision, it's so important to have a plan to implement the vision that God has given you. So that plan it comes in the form of a business plan which is really right. an action plan, and it helps you to um, realize the goals that you set. A lot of people set goals, but they don't really set timelines and deadlines for those, for those goals. So I talk about the importance of that in my book and the five different com- uh, components of a business plan. So I talk about um, how to promote your business, the importance of conducting marketing research, finding out what the trends are in your industry, things of that nature. So it's very comprehensive, and people can get a hold of that book through my um, business blog at www.thelettercaybooker.wordpress.com. I know you mentioned about your business and what you do, but can you tell us a bit more about the business services you provide, like a, a little bit more detailed? Oh, yes, certainly. In reference to business entity formation, I establish corporations and corporate structures where you have the um, officers, your president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. You have directors, people who make managerial decisions regarding this corporation. And you also have shareholders. Shareholders are people who have invested money or and are entitled to receive dividends. Say, for example, I invested $5,000 or you invested $5,000 in ABC Cleaning Company. You're entitled to receive 5% of the net profits of that company in the form of dividends, and most companies will pay dividends quarterly. So that's the three fifth structure of a corporation. A limited liability company is similar to a corporation that you have what's called members. Members are those people who make uh, manage your decisions regarding their limited liability company. And also a limited liability company, you have a tax benefit because any income that you receive through the limited liability company is taxed at your personal income tax rate, which may range between 9%. Whereas the corporate tax rate is about 46% on the average. So there's a, a serious good tax benefit with the LLC. And it also shields you from personal liability like a corporation. Uh, partnership, wow. that's where two or, people, two or more people come together to form a partnership and uh, run a business in, form, in that form. But the bad thing about a partnership is that all the partners in the partnership are jointly and severally liable for the debts and obligations of that partnership. partnership. 
and it doesn't not shield you from personal liability, so that's not necessarily the best type of entity to establish for a company. See, and sole proprietor, that's probably uh, not good, because as a sole proprietor, you have you don't have any uh, personal liability protection at all. You're responsible for everything, as far as marketing, accounting, the whole nine yards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's not it's not it's not very protective at all. So I wouldn't all recommend right. a person that was so required to hit just society and people see you at the drop of a hat for any kind of reason they can drum up. So you have to protect yourself. You know. And uh um, right. trademark and also offer trademark search and services because a lot of people are using uh trademarks, trademarking their business name and logo to help them in branding their company. Help people mm-hmm. feel more comfortable that they are legitimate business and they can do business with this company. So that helps in marketing. You know, and as a matter of fact, I have an article entitled "Benefits of Trademarks." I'll email that information to you. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. That sounds very interesting. It's a lot of great information. I'm kind of interested. I kind of want to ask this question. Um, so I'm seeing one of the books that was published and written by you, um, the ABCs. Of successful living. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Okay. Yes. The agencies of successful living was really basically uh, scripture pertaining mm-hmm. to different biblical principles such as faith, trusting in God, love, combined with poetry. Because the whole purpose of the book was designed to help encourage people to grow in the knowledge and understanding of God's word. So they mm-hmm. can apply it in their lives and and live an abundant life. And if someone was wanting to connect with you for your uh, business consulting services, how would they go about contacting you? They can call me at 301-408-1082, and they can email me at info at net. They can go to my website, too, at www.compuperfect.net. Well, again, Carmen, thank you so much for being on my show. Well, that's it for this week. I am Lois Raleigh-Durham, and you have just listened to the LRD Show. Have a great weekend.